Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back for another video So today what we're gonna be doing is playing Mandy for you guys. It is day one now I actually have a flight in like 10 hours So I slept in all the way until 4 p.m. No one roast me and by the time I walk uh, not walk up uh, By the time I woke up a bunch of people are already super high with Mandy So I'm not gonna have a crazy amount of trophies. I only have 48 right now but we're gonna be playing with other people who are 1k plus in trophies So we're gonna get as high competitive matches as we can with Mandy and show you guys how to play every mode into every matchup That being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what to do with Mandy So before we get into the games, let's just cover a little bit of basics with Mandy So Mandy has the super long range shot that basically shoots the entire map like you guys can see this thing does not end at all This is very useful if you're playing like bridge too far or safe zone or something with a very narrow alleyway but unfortunately, in like actual games, you're not going to be able to do anything with this because you can't really just stand still all game. You can maybe take one or two shots, but you can't stand still because you're just going to die. With that being said, you're ha you have, you know, your basic three shots. It's kind of like Bell. You hit for 1800, which is a pretty good amount of damage. That would definitely counter tanks. And then you have this gadget. So this is what really counters tanks here. If someone is coming at you or shooting you, let's just take this robot, for example. You just want to slow him if you're close, and then he's screwed. He can't do anything. And, you know, a normal brawler, you want to do this like BB or Primo or Bull or Buster, where you can kind of just slow them from this distance and then just auto-aim them and get the kill. Additionally, if you slow someone with your gadget, you can just auto-aim your super and get the kill. The super is what really charges your super really well. It charges half your super. So if you hit multiple targets, I know this is like five, but if you just hit two, you're going to get your super rate back. So that is what this brawler does. That's kind of how to play it. Let's adapt it or not adapt it. Let's adapt to what you guys know and show you guys in game how to use it. And uh, let's just show you guys the games and get into it. All right, so here we go into the first game. Uh, we're going to be going up against Crow, Buster, and Pam. So I don't know exactly what counters Mandy and what doesn't yet, but I feel like this is supposed to be a pretty good matchup. So you play it kind of like Bell. Um, I have an opportunity to stand still, so I'm going to stand still and try and get those long shots. going to get the shield over there. And with the gadget, the gadget's pretty simple. You kind of just want to use it when there's like a tankier, more like a, like a Buster or a Pam over a Crow. Or you can just shoot them, slow them, and kind of just auto-aim them. That's definitely how you want to use it. Uh, I need two more shots to super. I think it's the perfect amount of shots to get super with this brawler, which I really like. Not too broken, not too whatever. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's really hard for this crow to do anything. We're kind of just standing here, keeping it from going close. We're going to use the slow, auto-aim the super. So that's a really good combo that you guys probably want to do if you have Mandy. I know a lot of you probably do not have Mandy, but you just want to slow them, auto-aim the super, and you're more than likely going to get the kill. Gonna go for another slow there, get the kill. Oh, I oh, missed that. That's not very good. But we should be fine. We do get the next gem spawn. No, I went too close. At least I slowed him. Hopefully the Grom could put in work. Holy Grom. But they do have a lot of gems now, so I think I might just walk up the mid here. Gonna be able to get the kill over there. So we got our super back, so that's obviously a very threatening move. Gonna use the super. Not gonna get a hit again. Okay, so I'm kind of whiffing the super this game. Come on. Alright, we're gonna get that kill. That's gonna be a kill. Alright, everyone does not want to give me the shield, but that's gonna be a pretty decent game one. Didn't really show off... Mandy the best there, but you guys can see as a squishy brawler such as Crow, it is really difficult to push into a Mandy. Very, very difficult because you just get like two shot or three shot. So that's going to be game one. Star player. I know I only have 16 trophies, but we're playing high trophy brawlers to make sure that we get some actual matches. So let's hop on to the next game and let's keep going. All right, so here we go into the next game. We're going to be going up against BB, Mortis, and Bell. So, this should be a pretty good example if we can get on the bell of how and when to use the gadget. But Mandy versus Bell is a pretty interesting interaction. It's kind of like a Bell v. Bell almost. You're going to be able to pick up the kill there. And Mortis is going to win its lane, but we're going to be able to get that kill pretty easily. So, we're going to wait for the BB, and we're just going to slow it. Not really do anything crazy. Oh, that was close. 
We're gonna go down, but good try by Evelyn to give the shield. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how you want to use it. Just uh, use the gadget use. Wait for someone to come close to you. That's preferably not a range brawler, and you just slow it down. You don't let it do anything. We'll do the same to the bell. It's gonna die to the minecart. All right, we're gonna go down there for sure, but that's okay. We got our super now, and again, the super is kind of hard to hit. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. We're gonna get a hit on the mortis there. Evelyn is not going to share the shield. I don't know what, what it is with Evelyn, but no shields for me, I guess. They're going to get the team wipe, though, so I suppose it works out. We're going to go for the slow play that I was talking to you guys about when we see someone, so we're going to wait for the BB. I guess not. I don't know. BB's going to die, maybe. I guess we'll just hit it on the Mortis. Go for the big shot. Oh, my God. No hits for us today, but... That's going to be a win, so let's move on to the next game. Switch mode, show you guys uh, Manny in a different mode, and uh, let's show you how to play in Brawl Ball. All right, so here we go into the next game. We're going to be going up against Leon, Spike, and Buster, but in Brawl Ball. So in Brawl, I've actually never played it in Brawl Ball. I'm going to use the standstill ability a little bit more here just so I can get some more range. Going to get a pretty quick lane win over there. Now, unfortunately, the only, I think, downside about this brawler is without the super, you don't really have a way to hurt a brawler on the other side of the wall. Very similar to Bell, so... It's not the greatest on a map like this, but... It's still undoubtedly very good. Gonna go for the super. Not gonna get a hit. Stay still, Buster. Alright, there we go. We're gonna get a kill on the Buster, and we're just gonna move up and get some positioning here. Oh, never mind. There's someone behind us. I did not know that. Let me get two nice taps there. Buster has the hook, so we're definitely not going to walk near that. I'm going to go for the big shot. We're going to get the hit. And it charges half your super, which is pretty crazy. If you hit two people, you get your super right back. And you get another shot with that, which I think is kind of nuts. But it is what it is. We're going to hit the slow over there on the spike be able to get that kill and we're gonna just wrap our way around oh, we are dead. unlucky for us well at least we have our super I don't know if it goes through buster shield I doubt it we're gonna miss the super there ah we're not gonna get any kills good gadget there by Evelyn maybe we can stop this I think we can and I think we did. All right. Good stop. Going to be able to pick up the kill over there. And I'm going to see if I can trick shot this buster. Aw. Oh, good try. So I'm going to use the gadget there to slow and just auto aim him. That's kind of what I'm talking about with the uh, with the combination there. It's very broken. Going to go for the super. Not going to hit it. The super is pretty difficult to hit. I'm going to admit. It's a pretty... All right, super to hit. So hopefully we get a little bit better at it. Uh, but 17 seconds left. Let's see if we can defend here. It is not looking like it's going to be too easy. Ah, oh, we were close, but we're not going to be able to defend it. Overtime should definitely favor us, though. So we should be fine here. That's a fade. We're going to miss our shield. Oh, we get the double hit there, though. We go for the auto aim strat. Oh, and we get another. Okay, so I mean we're looking pretty good now with the super. Gonna be able to pick up the kill there. Please. All right, and there we go. We're gonna get a goal. So I mean that was a pretty stressful game, but we finally hit our supers. Good win. Let's hop into one final game in a different mode and show you guys how to play Mandy there. All right, so here we go into heist, and we're gonna be going up against Gray, Spike, and. Edgar, I think it was. So when you're playing Mandy and Heist, if you are and it's not a range map like Safe Zone and Bridge Too Far, what you want to do is kind of just open up the whole map. It's kind of like Bell, where it's not going to be doing too much damage. So you definitely want to play a comp that's more about holding control than about doing damage. And just opening it up slowly and just doing your thing. So we're going to go for a super here on the safe. Did he get over? Oh, it's broken. I didn't realize. So we just got to get the treats. We got to get powered up. We got to break the middle. Archaz is doing a really good job right now. 
gonna be able to get that kill. Do I have one? I do. So now we're just gonna shoot the safe. We do a really good amount of damage and good job with, by uh, Benji over there as well. We're gonna get our gadget shot and try and hit somebody to just to slow them down. I'm gonna be able to hit the uh, gray. So, oh, I tried to combo with the super. Unfortunately, not gonna get a hit. But this game is looking pretty good. So you kind of just want to do something like this, where you just take your time, you stand far back, you break the map open, and you win the game. That's basically all you want to do. It's pretty simple, not too hard. This brawler is just as easy as Bell, and Bell is not the hardest range in the world at all. So very, very easy to play. I think this brawler is going to be very meta. Oh god. Trying to juke. Archaz is going to be our savior over there. Going to get that hit shot. Come on, Spike. Oh. Alright, we should be fine now. We're going to super the safe, do a lot of damage, and this game is going to be over. So that is exactly how you want to play Mandy on Heist. That was a really good example. And with that being said, we are going to be done with the Mandy video for today. So I hope you guys kind of got a little understanding of how to play Mandy, what comps you want to go, where you want to play it, how you want to play different matchups. But it's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that. I will be back again soon. See you guys then. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.